waited and waited and never did just go on back to the same guy. I went down and tried to get you twice before. You, you listen to me. We're working on getting caught over rather expeditiously. We're doing our best. Okay, we're, we're on Jeff Miller's case and your probation officer. I know you don't want to be here, Kevin. I don't want you to be here, okay? But you got to start using your noggin. You let your anger take control, and that's how you always end up in trouble. And if you continue on this path, you're going to end up in prison, Kevin. Is it worth it? You know none of us here want to hurt you. You know that. I've bent over backwards for you, Kevin, to make sure that you're taken care of. And it went very smoothly. So you of all people know, but I can't do it by myself. You gotta help me in this. We, we don't always get what we want when we want, Kevin. Well, you know, exactly. If you need attention, tell me that. I'll come talk to you. Cut, cut, just cut through the chase. You know what I mean? Don't show your rear end. Tell me, Miss Jamie, I need to, I, I need some attention. Can we talk? That's all I really need. Like being here, it's like I've been here for a hundred and some days. My model the busy me at this. I know. Stuff. I, I, just want to leave I understand that. And then me being in here and all the people trying to jump on me and everything. It just gets but aggravated. Kevin, you have got to quit running your mouth. You talk all this crap behind closed doors. And then when that door opens, it's a whole different story. What happened there, though, was as soon as I got moved over there, they started, I don't know if you know the case in you, but they started gunning on yeah. me stuff. Because I was a white boy and then it all it, they pushed your buttons, dude, and they got exactly what they wanted. And then you talked all that smack. And then you were scared to death. You gotta quit doing that, Kevin. Talk is cheap. Everybody's gonna talk. If they don't put your hands on you, don't worry about it. If they put their hands on you, it's a different story. I don't expect you to take a you know a beating. But ain't nobody put their hands on you, Kevin. But you run to your mouth. The reason why nobody and put their hands on me is because I moved away from everybody. I sat on the other side of the room and everybody was on that side. You gotta, you either gotta put up or shut up, Kevin. And you're not gonna put up, so shut up. Excuse me, I don't mean that to be disrespectful, but a figure of speech. You know what I'm saying? This is all gonna go to the judge. No. I'm going to give you a break. I'm not going to even put it on a summary, all right? As long as you hold your end of the bargain, I'm going to hold mine. But you got to hold yours, Kevin. you got to quit running your mouth. you got to chill out and about that so we can get you out of here. About that screw, though, that, I mean, I, I didn't know I had to tell you guys that there was Kevin, how many times have you been here with me? I've only been here twice. And the first you time know, I was here, you, I was here for eight hours. And if you have contraband, what do you do? You know, know, you are, you've done a book. That's what it goes to. And, and it came out. And you used it to cart your initials in the door, Kevin. No, I apologize. All you had to do was say, Mr. Eric, this is loose in my room. Here, done deal. You had a choice to make, and you chose to use it in a bad way. Life is choices. You do good things, you get rewards. You do bad things, you get discipline. You know that. Why do you always want to be the thug? I don't want to be a thug. I just want to change my life. You, you keep talking that, but your actions are not displaying it. But when you're in, in jail, there's nobody here to help you. You don't have, like, the therapist, they don't come to see you. You got to do everything on your own. You got to mentally, you got to mentally push yourself to what you, you have to do. You got to think about, all about it, and like me, being here for hundred some days and I have my mom, I have nobody to talk to, which is driving me crazy. And that's Ke where this all ended up. Kevin, there's only one person that can change it, and that's you. You like to redirect. You want to put it on everything and everybody. There's only one person. No, I know it's all me. And it's you. 
all this anger that's building up in me and I just can't figure out a way to let it out. I just think, I thought that yelling and all that was going to help me, but it's what it got. You know what you got to do, but it's a lot of work to do it. And you don't want to invest the amount of time it takes to do that. It's easier because when you blow up, you get attention. And that's what you want. Yeah. All you got to do is say, I need some attention. And I'll be happy to talk with you. So the, the idea Why make yourself miserable when all you want to do is talk? It's hard to get my point across to anybody. You don't have problems talking to me, Kev. Feel like everything is going to waste. My dad's in prison. I know that. I had your dad. Your dad was here with me. I know. I had your brother. And I've got you. Don't continue the same pattern. Lead by example, Kevin. Look at your, your little brother. Show him the right way. You can do it. You can do it. But you gotta wanna do it, Tim. You gotta wanna do it. Don't end up like your dad. Yes, I'll give you a phone call, Kel. I told you I would, I'll give you a phone call. Okay? I just want to talk to my mom. I have to visit She goes to work for us. Two, I think. She goes to work at two? Well, it is now 1220. So we'll get you a call before two, okay? This, um, I don't want my PO taking this ass. He's not doing anything to keep him here. Look, your therapist has been on your PIO's case big time. That much I can assure you. She's been pushing, pushing, pushing to get a court order signed, okay? What does that mean? It means hopefully you won't be here that much longer. That's what it means. But if you continue to act like this, Kevin, you're going to end up with new charges. No. You can't afford that, okay? I already got six. Exactly. Just, um, I don't want to live this life anymore. Like, well, just... there's only one person that can change that, Kev. And actions speak louder than words. It's up to you. I noticed that, like, all the LCJC staff, they're not bad people. They just, they want well, to thank you. Right for you. Thank you. I appreciate but, that. I was kind of, like, in the room, and y'all was trying to grab me and stuff. No, we gave you the opportunity. I know, but I didn't want to go willingly. So. Yeah, so we, and you know. You, you know, Kevin. You guys, all you guys are nice people. Y'all just are looking out for us and our health and everything. You Try to, but I also got to work out for this facility, too. Yeah, and I really appreciate what you've done for me since I've been here. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. That's why we're here. I mean, even, even though, you know what I'm saying, that with the judges are doing and all that, I feel the same way about them too, though. Know, they're doing this looking out for us. We try. I'm not telling you we're always, you know, we make mistakes, but we try. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I know that we put down extended and all that, but it's my fault. I should have told you all. Look, you know when you have cancer, man. All you gotta do is say, you know, whoever the DO is, myself, whoever, here, and stand deal. It's not really even about the time she back though, it's probably targeting that world. Exactly. You, you know, you're, you're destroying county property. I'm my new wings. I'm, I'm my new expensive wings. <laughs> before you let that anger get you to Yeah. Okay? You all right? Yeah. So, my dad, she's going to talk to you. Well, she's at lunch. I'm going to let her know as soon as she gets back. I'm going to have the nurse look at you when she gets back. Okay? I'm going to call my mom. Yes, sir. I'm going to give you a phone call. That's a shame, man. That's a shame.
Okay? You're welcome. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, that's fine. Give him some way. So, what do you do as a staff member in a situation like that? Just got to work it. I mean, nine times out of ten, when they're angry like that, it's not the issue at hand. It's you know something else. And I know Kevin, and I know Kevin's angry because he's he's in detention longer than he thinks he should be here. He doesn't get visitation that frequently from his family, and he's pretty immature for his age. So he, you know, his way of, I mean, just like he said, I, I wanted attention, you know. And it's like, Kevin, just tell me you want attention. Don't act a fool, just tell me you want attention and I'll talk to you, you know what I mean? Um, but nine times out of 10, they're not angry at what it appears to be the problem. It's usually something else. And if you can figure out what that is and get to the root to it, you can generally get them to calm down and you know you make a lot of progress with them. So, so, so much of this stuff with these kids comes from way back. Absolutely. It comes from home. Absolutely. It starts out. Well, just like I said, I had his dad. I had his dad here. And his dad's in prison now, you know. I had, well, I'm in my 22nd, 23rd year here, and I had his dad. After 22 years, does it ever get any easier? No, actually, it's getting worse. We're seeing a lot more mentally ill kids, a lot more kids, you know, um, a lot of mental illness is becoming prevalent, and we seem to be the catch-all for that, and it makes it pretty difficult. So is that one of the biggest things you think people don't know about this population? Because most people, even though this is a normal, regular day for you and you do this day in, day out, people on the outside really have no idea of what goes on inside. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. What they, do you want them to do? They think that, you know, it's more just plain child care, so to speak, and it's not. These are, a lot of these kids are very, very sick kids. A lot of mental illness is going on, and and not only that, you know, they don't. A lot of most of them don't have families. You know, they don't have anywhere to go to. They have no no support systems. You know, and then you get into the whole gang thing, and and I don't condone it. I don't like it, but yet I kind of understand how it occurs. You know, and you, the problems that are on the street, they don't stay on the street when they come in here. They come problems come with them, so we have to deal with them on a daily basis. You just Put each fire out as they happen and move on and hope that you know you can maintain and keep some semblance of control. Yet amazingly, oh, budgets yeah. for places like this are the first things that get slapped. Is it because yes. it's out of sight, out of mind for most people? I, yes, I believe that's probably a big part of it, but I also think people don't, they just, because they're kids, they don't think that, you know, nah, they, they couldn't do that, you know what I mean? It starts here. What you see in prisons start here. This, you know, I mean, it doesn't change. It's just at a younger age. They're just starting here, and they carry it on. So. I've talked to a lot of kids who say, you know, my mom's in prison, my dad's in prison. This is what my family does. Mm-hmm. Yep. Learning to game. You betcha. The old adage, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, it tends to hold true, unfortunately. So what will happen to Kevin now? I'm going to notify his therapist that he initially made the suicidal gesture. Um, they'll see him, evaluate him. Kevin's no more, su in my opinion, Kevin's not sure. He said it, you know, he goes, I just said that. I'm not going to harm myself, you know. And we'll have the nurse see him to make sure he didn't incur any injuries and if he needs to have any, uh, you know, any physical uh, conditions taken care of, then we'll have the medical department take care of him and then. We'll leave it up to the site department to determine if he needs to be on any kind of watch or anything like that, but he'll remain with the paper sheet and without underwear until the site department can see him. 
you know, I'm not qualified to make that decision. That will be up to them. But I can't allow him to harm himself. So. And so he'll stay down here in Charlie Delta. Yes. Yeah. He. You know, I can't afford to let him tear up my other wings. So he had taken a. He, well, he had a. He had a bolt about this big that he had taken out of the metal uh, desk in the wall, and he was carving all over the door, the glass, and not to mention it would have made a very nice weapon. I wouldn't like to get that upside my temple or anything. So. What's your hope for him ultimately? That he would go to placement, get the necessary therapeutic assistance that he needs, and hopefully turn his life around would be my ultimate hope. You know, get his education and learn how to deal with his anger and deal with the issues that he's, you know, had all of his life and become a productive citizen, you know, in his adult years. It would be wonderful. <laughs> you don't see that real often, so it would be nice. <laughs>